Hi guys, just a just a just talking video. Look at the microwaves uh, shooting off in South Carolina. We have a very strange thunderstorm. Maybe you'll hear some of the thunder, but it's not raining. We've got thunder. Uh, it didn't rain heavily. And of course, the thunderstorms never, ever give us those bright blue skies anymore or that wonderfully fresh, clean air. Everything is manufactured. These, these microwaves right on the coast of South Carolina. I have posted videos on this uh, new sighting of frequencies that it's certainly new for me in the last couple of months. I don't know why we see these microwaves shooting off in South Carolina like this, but we do. So look at this. This is our thunderstorm, I guess. I'm in Anderson, South Carolina, right up here, upstate South Carolina. See all the red? I guess that's our thunderstorm. Okay, well, let's look at this. Oh, wow, how nicely defined is that? Right here. Wow. Perfect. A perfect defined high frequency heating storm. Let's go a little bit closer, shall we? Mm -hmm. Got the wrong region. That should. Yeah. Look at that. Do you hear the thunder? Microwaves. Right there. Heating it up. And that is actually North Carolina, but we are getting just a bit of it in upstate South Carolina. Looks like it has passed. How are you guys doing in North Carolina? Are you not sick of this? I am. I am. And it looks like you're getting more rain in California. A nice well, this rain has <laughs> just stretched on all the way over to Texas. And it's, let's just check that out. Oh, look at all of the nice aerosols in this. It's so obvious. And that is quite a stretch. And so nicely defined. Well, let's just check out National Mosaic, shall we? Yeah. Well, we've got some Nectred Harp signatures. Here's one. The defined uh, circular lines. Just extend that all the way out. And you've got a lot of powerful frequencies going on. Um, You seem to have what, I don't know, are as these bands of precipitation right here. Oh, <laughs> and that was an interesting little, oh, oh, now I'm going to go away. Um, these bands, could it be chaff? Our military spraying chaff? 
who knows but well where is that where is that beautiful um, stretch of precipitation where is all of the precipitation that we are seeing in Texas on this site College of DuPage and we don't see it the National Mosaic that's interesting okay well I guess we can't rely on these sites anymore and they're just going to give us whatever they want but here you can see the harp next red ring California and this is where that precipitation is just stretching on into Texas well so we continue to get fabulous weather do you see can you see the pink colors right here can you see it with the microwaves going through this should I zoom in a little more you see the pink Okay. Unfortunately, on the uh, on the um video that I posted, what the hell is being dumped into Florida coast? And unfortunately, the pink colors did not uh, come out on the video. And I guess maybe what is needed is some kind of um, high definition or a really good capture program but there was an awful lot of pink crap being dumped right here just north of the Florida Keys you can see it's well you can see it it's pink so for all of you who are saying I can't see it um, it's right here that's a clear pink color and this just off the coast of Cuba just blows up but all of this pink all of these pink lines okay well when I went on the site it was very clear to me that there was this sudden red blob right around here this whole line this aerosol here had like little dots it was like a dotted line of uh, distinct colors it was not white as you can see this is white okay but what is what is all of what are they jump dumping in here you know and I posted that video uh, on the dolphins that are washing ashore sick and dying on the California coast and I showed in this video which unfortunately you can't really see but you can make out that oh, the contrasting colors you now here's white and here's gray and here is some kind of pink tint so they're doing this right on the coast and yet they can't figure out what is killing the dolphins and I have to wonder if they're po poisoning the coast to uh, kill off life look narcissists are about and, and psychopaths they're about destruction you know, good, decent people are about creation. Unfortunately, we've got a lot of people who are clearly into destruction. So, on the world view, this is February 26th, which was the day I saw the red blobs and then the pink just kind of very quickly erupt you know it's very strange that and all of this pink crap but 
there is the red dot. So I can see it in my video. How come nobody else can see it? Pink, pink, right there. Reddish color. It's there. See? Very clear. I'm, I'm looking at it as you look at it, you know, on YouTube. So I see it, and this is very, uh, this was quite reddish right here. So it does look to me like they are dumping things into the coast and, and life suffers for it. Ain't that great? No, it really isn't. It's really not. So, yeah, here we have February 26. Awful lot of spraying and microwaves. See all of the, well, what I guess now we refer to as cloud streets. You know, that was from the fabulous, sexy meteorologist in Houston, Texas. Cloud streets, they're just cloud streets. Don't worry. It's when, uh, oh, what were they saying? Something about cold air, heat, it's uh, warm waters. You get cloud streets. Well, what we have is the dumping of poisons into the atmosphere that, yeah, they come down into the air that we breathe and uh, down to the ground, killing all life, trees, trees, trees toppling over, lots of rain. Oh, people think that it's the trees. Well, the ground is saturated. And we can't get this to stop. You know, I see people leaving comments, well, what are we supposed to do? What can we do? What can we do? You know, <laughs> Well, you can look to your willfully ignorant Americans, and there you will see our greatest enemy. Those who refuse to, you know, even consider the possibility that something else might be going on, that that official narrative that they're listening to might not be really the truth. Look at that square. We don't have square clouds unless man is creating it. We don't have cloud streets. We have microwaves blasting away, helping to create weather. Oh, the many methods that they have. Yeah, February 26th. Look at all of these microwaves down here in the Gulf of Mexico. Look at this, okay? All of this is just toxic. All of this that you're looking at, unbelievably dangerous, toxic, and they're blasting away. These are the new weapons of war right here. You're looking at them. The new weapons of war. Everything has been weaponized. Our food, our air, our uh, water, our mainstream media reporters, our meteorologists. Everything's weaponized. And unfortunately, Americans themselves, they're like little weapons. You, gotta, you have to be very, very careful what you say because you could trigger them to shoot off their weapons of hostility and aggression and anger and get away from me you crazy conspiracy theorist get away from me and here we're just looking at it we're just looking at it no man is controlling the natural processes disrupting the natural processes and killing off life in the process we don't have clouds that look like this. 
No, we don't. We really don't. So, and inland as well. Look at all of these frequencies that are shooting off uh, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas. How are you guys feeling? Probably not so swell. Probably not so swell. You just, you could look around just for one day on this site and see that something's very wrong here. Right? Yes. Okay. Well, um, look at all of the toxins that are dumped in the Pacific. Oh, and we just, the experts are baffled. Don't know why those dolphins are sick and dying. Just don't know. Ignorance is dangerous. It really is very dangerous. We all know lying is dangerous, but, you know, the willfully ignorant, they're just as dangerous. Look at this. Look at all of these microwaves. And then you have the Navy, you know, doing their sonic testing and that too is beaching the whales and killing the dolphins. And yeah, the world has just turned into a violent madness. That is very hard, very hard to take, you know. <laughs> very hard. I mean, Oregon, Washington, you got overloaded. Look at this. I mean, I really do think that they... Maybe, you know, these sites like NASA, these satellites, maybe these figures that we see, you know, these faces, maybe they're doing it for one another. You know, those who are uh, in the know, those involved in all of this uh, geoengineering, the aerosol spraying, maybe they just like to, eh, let's create a little face here. Something to chuckle about, you know, because look, narcissists, psychopaths, they got stuck. They got stuck. You know, in, in a very, very, very early age, emotionally, uh, psychically. And they're very, very immature. They've never grown up. February 27. I'm not surprised. I'm hearing from you guys in Minnesota. Snow, 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 Michigan, snow, 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 getting buried. Um, spoke to a subscriber slash friend who lives in Michigan, and she lost one greenhouse because of the snow, was able to save the smaller greenhouse that she had. Her husband went out. Um, got stuck in snow three times, was able to get himself out uh, twice, but the third time, that was it. He had to walk three miles in unbelievably cold weather. Uh, and then got someone, a, a towing company, to come. And they were charged so much. And they can afford it, you know, it's not going to present a real problem for them, but they were just thinking about all of the people in their area that don't have that money, you know, to get their cars unstuck from towing companies, the greed in this country. How can anybody claim that Americans are not the problem, that it's just the powers that be, it's just, you know, our government uh, representatives, it's only them they're the evil ones. Carol, stop saying it's Americans. My God, are you kidding me? We're destroying one another. We're destroying one another going on, and we claim that we're good people. 
Give it up already. Face the truth. Something is very wrong with the quote-unquote good people. Look at this. This is all in the Atlantic. I mean, how can you claim that this is <laughs> natural? My God, look at this. I mean, this is caused by frequencies, okay? You cannot get a, a perfect line as if Mother Nature came along and decided, all right, I'm going to carve out a portion of this cloud structure with all of these fancy ripples that I've created, and I'm going to make a perfect perfect defined line. No, Mother Nature does not operate that way. Look at this. I don't know about you guys. I look at this and it just breaks my heart. You know, like we're all connected here. All right. All life is connected. I look out and I see the tree dying right smack in front of me and I'm connected to that tree. Yeah. Oh, a lot of people don't get that and they think it's, you know, that you're crazy for saying it. No, life, all life, there's a connection and we've got to respect all life. So when I see all of this, I can't not think about all life, like down in the Atlantic, suffering, getting sick from all of the poisons. You know, I know that there are some of you who get that, and you also feel it. But not a lot of people, because they're of such low consciousness, it's frightening. It really is frightening. I mean, look at this. This is the 27th of February, just two days ago, and we're on our way to Europe, and you don't have straight edged clouds not it's not natural africa once again very little north africa oh saudi arabia you got it central saudi arabia you got it this time and well oh a bit of israel too my god uh oh things are changing russia years ago i go on this I wouldn't see too much happening in Russia. Now, Russia, you are, well, where are you? Can't see you. Um, Portugal, you got hammered. Look at all of this. My God, it's so unbelievable. It just looks, it looks dirty. It looks toxic. It looks like evil. I mean, it looks evil. It looks so disgusting. And a nice edge to it. So, Portugal, they just got you here, and they decided to give Spain a break little itty bitty break France a little itty bitty break oh the UK the UK the UK yes here we go and look at this hammered Talk, uh, the entire world is being poisoned it's being poisoned Look at this. My God. And isn't this a nice uh, contrast? What, you know, obviously these are different uh, chemicals being used or something is different. You can see it very clearly right here. But my God, we are in such deep trouble. Such deep trouble. I mean, and it couldn't be, look at the density. Now, I do believe that they can, with uh, electromagnetic 
frequencies alone cause cloud to become more and more dense. So I don't want to say that when you see the dense, you know, it looks like somebody spilled gallons and gallons of white paint, right? It may not be gallons and gallons. It could be the frequencies causing, you know, all of this to become so thick. But Scotland, Ireland, and the UK, yeah. Well, you got cloud streets, you got what people used to f refer to as um, tractor, you know, um, tractor um, tracks made by tires. But look how nicely, I mean, it's a nice little, I don't know. The edge of a, a knife without the handle. Oh boy. It's hard. Look at this. So, um, let's travel down to Australia. You know, got a lot of U.S. military bases in Australia, Western Australia. So I have to wonder if that's why we don't see much of these chemtrails um, in Australia. We sure did see them when they were creating the floods in Queensland. Yeah. It's uh, it's not going to go that far, okay. <laughs> Unbelievable. Look at this. I mean, it's hard to even tell which way the jet stream is going. I was wondering if we were going to be hearing about any kind of weather event taking place in Venezuela. So we've got a lot of these aerosols and they just, you know, pave the way for the creation of our constant rain here in South Carolina. Last night, 28th, look at this, look at this, okay? Oh, so not Mother Nature, uh-uh. That couldn't be more defined, huh? Well, all of this is causing an awful lot of damage to our biological systems, not just ours, not just the two-legged guys, but the four-legged, you know, and the trees and plants and crops and boy, they're really ramping up these agendas and no, Trump is right along with them. I mean, look at this, come on. This whole thing, this rectangle of poison. And I just heard, well, I just saw a title of a video, Nova Scotia, prepare for massive storms. So what, what is happening here? What what chemicals and heavy metals have produced this or biologicals? Come on, guys, let's not be naive here. They are absolutely spraying biologicals, right? I am experiencing symptoms. I'm going to do another video just talking later 
um, talking about how I'm feeling, how from what I've been hearing from a lot of you, what's going on with you guys, wanting to know how you guys are feeling as well, because this is really now just, um, it's an ongoing with no relief, no relief. The dumping of poisons, look at this. And how can anybody claim that that's a cloud? And yes, we do have a, lie, a lot of lying shitheads in our country. Meteorologists, I get a paycheck? Hell yeah, I'll read a script. Um, what color is this? I see, well, I can't tell if it's, no, it actually does look a little green, pink, you know. Is that just a, a dump of a lot of, like, lithium and um, what turns green? I can't remember, but other uh, nano chemicals or heavy metals. But you know what? The Pacific always, from the start of my being on YouTube, the Pacific, you were always getting it. Always. It was constant. The Atlantic, not so much. So I often wondered, you know, what, what, why the Pacific and not the Atlantic? Well, <laughs> just hang on to life a little bit longer and you'll see, oh, well, they'll get to it. They'll get to it. I mean, here is another what looks like face, right? Almost kind of like George Washington with a hat on. Oh, God. Look at this. My God. Well, no, it's not a surprise that we have dolphins dying. And I was very surprised to see that article about 1,800 plus cattle dying in Washington blizzard. Was it really that intense that 1,800 plus guys, you guys in Washington, was it that bad last week? That 1,800 plus dairy cattle died from that blizzard? That to me is so shocking that I have to wonder, something else was happening there. Something else. No, this is not Mother Nature. God, I wish some of you were just in my real life because I am... <laughs> it's taking everything I have now just to maintain my sanity and... You know, I'm... exhausted. I'm exhausted from this life. And please don't assume that my life is like yours, okay, and say, well, do this and do that. Don't do that, please. Um, look at all of this. And you know what, guys? We very often forget Alaska. And I'm really sorry about that. Um, yeah. Alaska. Maybe this is why you don't have too much sun. Maybe they've just been chemtrailing you over and over and over again for a lot longer. Right? Don't you have like long periods of darkness. The Aleutian Islands. Well, you know, keep detoxing, guys. I um, want to say that, you know, people have been leaving comments about Shungite, 
which is um, the spelling I think is S H U N Shungite G I T E. I might have gotten that wrong. Um, people are finding relief with Shungite. Um, garlic, eat it raw. I You've got to do, I've done videos on, you know, different detox methods. Um, you have to do the research to find out the best way to detox all of these poisons out of your body and try to, try your best to just maintain your health. But for those of you who are really struggling now, I um, and the comments that I've gotten some of you are saying you're doing everything you possibly can and you just can't get well um, I understand I really understand and I understand that you don't have anybody that you can find to provide any kind of solace because you have people in your life that don't believe you because, oh, they're fine. Um, and you even have people who know what's going on and they just don't want to hear it. Well, guess what? We're living a whole new time, an unprecedented time, an unprecedented time of great suffering. And that means that we have to change ourselves to meet it, to try our best to provide some kind of relief. Now this is weird, but so much is weird. Microwaves, microwaves, microwaves. Well, <laughs> I want to do those those live shows get get some interaction going it's a drag just sitting here talking to like a microphone I'm tired of it I don't like it I'd rather have some discourse even if it's just in the cyber world I was thinking maybe, how about a, a nightly show, a nightly show where everybody can just talk about their day, talk about how they're feeling, you know, uh, look at this, Jesus. <laughs> um, now just to find a place for release release of all of how we're feeling because not getting that stuff out that can present health problems as well you know yeah all right guys I sure do hope that you're all well I sure do hope that you all have uh, uh, you know just find something to do this weekend to get your mind off of this crap do something that's going to bring you some joy. You know, if you have friends that you can relate to, call them up, have lunch with them. You know, just do something fun with your children. Uh, because this world, man, is pretty heavy. <laughs> it's pretty dark, to say the least. Yeah. So it's taken an awful lot of work. Isn't it? Look at this. I can't believe that we've got these meteorologists never mentioning anything that's real. Nothing. It's like everybody's living in this fairyland. You know? No one lives in reality. Well, you do. I do. Uh, but most of the world is just 
living in a fantasy. They've got to give up the fantasy. All right. Take care, guys.